Hi, I'm Chris Sosa. Welcome to Feel Good Food, Feel Good Fridays. Today on the menu, we have in the local language, it's Brazilian. In English, it's quail. Nothing too fancy, nothing too hectic. Things that you can find uh, at your local superstore. Or if you know a plug, you can call farmers who are pretty much keeping quails for business. So what we're doing today is we're gonna roast this uh, and then we're doing a light meal which is pretty much protein and vitamins. So vegetables and protein. All right, what I'll do is I'll clear up this space so we have more working area and then start doing my prep. Now I'm gonna season it before I start the clearing up. So we want black pepper in there. That's all right. I'm gonna take this and put it on the side, and then I'll wrap it in olive oil, and then pan fry it in garlic butter with herbs, and then throw it in the oven. Uh, so quail is uh, a small bird, size of a baby chicken or a pigeon. I'm gonna do a bit of a uh, Mediterranean veg. You wanna cut like that, so you save all the vegetables and then you're not seriously wasting because when your peppers are uh, expensive, uh, so make sure you use up all the ingredients and don't waste nothing. If you're like me, these are edible as well. I'm still getting the fresh vitamin. So depending on how you want your, your vegetables to look, you can just cut them in chunks. So yeah, I've sliced my yellow paper. Do the same thing with your red. So you start it from the top. Pretty much looking for that look. So I'm done with my papers, nicely chopped, sharp ends, like that. Depending on whether you want to do squares, whatever you want, they should be even nice on one side, so at least presentation looks good. Got some cherry tomatoes. You can get them in red, but I, I like the orangey kind of look. I mean, if you mix it in there, you can already see how nice it's going to look when it's nicely roasted. And, yeah, so pretty much having these with, with your quails and having a chat with friends or just spoiling yourself. Sometimes you should just cook for yourself. Not necessarily for anyone else, but just for you. So I've had my tomatoes cleaned. Uh, fresh food on your plate is like a, a journey. So imagine if you, you've seen a picture of the lake and then the moments you go through seeing the mountains and then getting to the lake and then you're happy the same thing happens when you have fresh food it brings happiness and then you have smiling faces and joy into your life so herbs here's something i found in the shop so they pretty much packaged in a in a cup so you can actually take this and then you buy it, you leave it in your kitchen and you keep watering your, your herbs and then you can use them for three, four days. Yep, yeah, I think this is neat. Makes life easy for everybody else. Cutting out the stems. Not too much, just enough for your vegetables. So this is good for salads as well. You can just put it in salad and eat fresh. I've got a bit of parsley here, which will add a different flavor to the, to the salad as well. Okay. These are oyster mushrooms. Not, not too much flavor, but they also 
had a bit of heaviness to the meal, so whatever flavor they've got, it's gonna sit in the chicken. The quail and then giving it more flavor as well. So yeah. So you wanna you wanna watch this for a bit and then chop them up into sizes that would pretty much fit into the quail. So this is enough for like four quails. So get yourself some mushrooms and cook. space And then 
moisten them up a bit so they get brown quickly and they don't end up losing the moisture. The other thing is because I also want to put the, the Mediterranean veg under them so everything is cooking. So by the time that is done, this is done and we're plenty and we're ready to eat. And uh, keeping it in Africa, I should say, our home. We got this, so a bit of a wine glass made from wood. Yeah, so it's good for the environment as well. If I should throw this away, it's gonna decompose into a new, so it's giving back to nature. So we're not taking anything from nature, we're pretty much giving back. Little wine in there. So it's always important to uh, have your know, food with sauce and the sauce can actually uh, either complement or spoil a meal. So the better the sauce, uh, the, the greater the meal. Uh, and then in this case, uh, I'm doing a, a white wine sauce, uh, but then I'm using alcoholic wine here. So for people that do not take alcohol, they have an alternative of actually getting a non-alcoholic wine, which should work as well. I'm done now, so this is our uh, pan fry oven roasted stuffed quail. The stuffing we've got onion and a bit of herbs and mushroom in there. So, yep, we're ready to eat. This is a light meal, uh, something you're just having when you're not trying to have a lot of food in your stomach or it's a late night, you don't want to eat a heavy meal, you just want to go to sleep quickly without uh, something heavy in your stomach. So, enjoy.